Carl Sargent hanged himself in his utility room at home while his wife was upstairs and left a note on the door telling her not to enter, an inquest heard today. The Welsh Assembly member killed himself four days after he was sacked by Carwy Jones over disputed allegations of groping and touching women. Mr Sargent, 49, hanged himself in a lean-to off the utility room of his ex-council house home in Coes Quay, Deeside after his wife Bernie, 48, found a handwritten note on the door. It urged her not to come in and just call the police but she ignored the request, entered and found him fatally injured on the floor. Mr John Giddens, Senior Coroner for North Wales, opened and then adjourned the inquest in Ruthin, Denbyshire today and described his death as an apparent act of self-harm. The 10-minute hearing, which was not attended by Mr Sargent's wife or their two adult children Jack and Lucy, was told that the family and paramedics had desperately tried to revive Mr Sargent for between 20 and 30 minutes. Carl Sargent's wife Bernie, 48, pictured together, found her husband dead at their home in Coes Quay last Tuesday, an inquest heard today. Carwy Jones has police after his house in South Wales, pictured last Tuesday, was sprayed with graffiti hours after he refused to resign over Carl Sargent's death. A provisional cause of death was given as hanging. Mr Giddens said his inquest will not consider the truth of allegations made against Mr Sargent or making adjudications on who is right or wrong. Mr Sargent, 49, was found in a lean-to off the utility room of his ex-council house home in Coes Quay, Deeside after his wife had found a note on the door of the utility room. Mr Giddens, senior coroner for North Wales, said he would hold a full and fair investigation into the death and would examine what steps the Welsh Assembly took to look after Mr Sargent's mental welfare after the allegations had been made against him. The 10-minute hearing which was not attended by Mr. Sargent's wife or their two adult children Jack and Lucy, was told that the family and paramedics had desperately tried to revive Mr. Sargent for between 20 and 30 minutes. He said, in the sudden death report I was informed that on the morning of the 7th of November, Mrs. Bernadette Sargent had gone downstairs and had found a note on the door of the utility room in Mr. Sargent's handwriting advising her not to enter but to call the police. Othelus she did go in and found her husband on the floor of the lean to which was off the utility room after an apparent act of self-harm. An ambulance was called and she, together with family members, tried to resuscitate him until the arrival of paramedics who continued for another 20 to 30 minutes before pronouncing life extinct. The coroner said that a post-mortem was carried out by drive Andrew Dalton at Glacluid Hospital on November 10 who would conduct toxicology tests but gave a provisional cause of death as hanging. Mr Giddens said he was required by law to open an inquest into Mr Sargent's death and to reach a conclusion about when, where and how he had died. He said, it is important to note that it is not the coroner's duty to establish why a death has occurred or why someone may have chosen to end their life.